Hi everybody, thank you for stopping by and giving me some of your time. My name's Amy and today is my update for my little buy. I didn't do that bad this time. I think this is probably going to... <laughs> this is the best month I've done so far. But I can tell you already I've been... It's only April 9th? It's, it's Easter. What day is it? Yeah, 9th. Um, so happy Easter to those who... Uh, Celebrate. Um, I've already done bad <laughs> the first week of April, so uh, let's be proud of March. <laughs> I actually, let me get to my page. Why am I not prepared? All right, so for the month of March, I, oh, this is not the booklet I need. Okay, I can tell you that I went eight days straight with no shopping. And it was a little difficult, but I did it. Um, and then after that, I would like, I bought things here and there because sales kept popping up and I have a hard time saying no to sales. But I'm very proud that I made it eight days. Was it eight or nine? It was one of those days of, it was slightly over a week. And I was like, so proud of myself. Um, so let's see here what I'm going to talk about my empties and I forgot one. So hold on. Okay. I got my book this time. So from March 4th to March 11th, I bought nothing. Yeah. So it was eight days, eight days in a row. Then I bought something, didn't buy something, bought something, didn't buy something for two days, then bought something. So it kind of went like, blah, 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 blah. Um, so we know I can do a stretch of no buying. But for some reason, after I did it, it's so hard to go back to doing that. So I'm going to try 10 days in April, 10 straight days in April where I do not shop. Hasn't ha happened yet. <laughs> it's already been nine days of the month and I shopped almost nine days. Let me see, let me see. What was it? What have I done so far? I really shouldn't be like spoiling it, but yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Five days already. Five out of nine days I've already shopped. But anyways, we're gonna stick to March. I was proud of my March. I shopped. 10 days out of 31. Now that's a, that's a huge deal. I'm like so proud of myself that I only shopped 10 days out of the whole month. So go me. Take in my small wins, man. Um, I only wore makeup seven days. So um, all my updates for these project pans that are coming up are not going to be the greatest. But um, March was a very tough tough month for me like mentally physically stress wise it was just a, a I don't want to say bad words it was just bad <laughs> let's just say that um so yeah wore makeup seven had eight days straight of nothing and uh yeah I don't need to repeat myself so I'm gonna start with what I've emptied, what I'm decluttering, and then we will do the haul. I know some of you are trying to not try, trying to do a no buy, so if looking at a haul is going to trigger you to want to go shop, um, I'll make sure to tell you when that's going to start, so you can just click out. No hard feelings. I completely understand because some of my products that I bought were due to. <laughs> seeing others <laughs> all right so um do I have anything else to say about March no okay and I like I said I want to go for April I want to do try to do 10 days straight basically eight add a couple more days from my eight and see if I can do it it wasn't easy to do my eight days but I did it so let's see if I can keep myself motivated to not buy anything for 10 days um, I did, uh, stop my subscription to, um, 
copacetic. I decided I don't love everything I get in the copacetic box. So I'm going to do just like their $2 Tuesdays if they're shades I want. Um, yeah, like basically they put up everything they put in the boxes after they've sent them out. So people can just buy one or two things from it. So I'm like, if I want something from that, I'll buy it that way instead of forking out. What was it? $45? Yeah, $45 and only like the nail polish maybe. And I noticed that all of the quads that they do um, for the box is basically toppers, like glittery stuff. And if you're new here, I don't like glitter. I don't like even shimmers that have too much glitter that will like if it's gonna have fallout I'm not happy except for one exception today I'm wearing a menagerie's animal kingdom which is in my um pan those eyeshadow slash use every pan every single pan and I'm loving this but I did have major fallout I have so much glitter under here I tried to clean it up multiple times but it's, it's there but look at how pretty this eyeshadow is I'm like I'm hoping you could see the shifts let's see if I go down maybe no go up please show it goes from like a pinky to a gold shift Ugh, it's so pretty it's so pretty um ooh, now I'm seeing circles ring light got me I can't see <laughs> Anyways, I'm feeling goofy, goofy guys, so just be prepared. <laughs> uh, we, we spent, uh, we celebrated Easter yesterday at my parents' house because we, my mom and I are like, let's give ourselves Sunday to relax before our work week starts up because we're both having hella hard work days lately. Work is just a lot right now. All right, so enough of that. Let's get all of, we'll do my declutter first. And if you watched my palette bingo, you know this was coming. Um, this is an empty. It's it's not an empty. It's Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion in original. If you watched the last palette bingo, I tried this and then it was very goopy and then it dried down chunky and like you could see it like I end up doing like my whole eye area all the way out to here and then all up in here and under the eyebrow I had to end up taking a makeup wipe wiping all of this off trying to get off the inner corner area on the the bridge of the nose and all under my brow without messing up the eyeshadow I just did um so I was contemplating on trying again and seeing if it was just a bad mixture of my face primer with this but a few of you told me just get rid of it if it isn't working like it was before toss it um i have i did get a, a recommend recommendation to use the p louise um oh man what was her name i just i think it was sherry i'll put her name on the on the screen um, she told me that P. Louise is really good and inexpensive, so I will probably end up purchasing that, but no time soon because thanks to subscription boxes, I have a crap load of eyeshadow primers. I just opened Lorac's prime eye primer. It was a little weird, like it didn't, it wasn't, it was nothing like this basically. And I've been using this for over a year, so um, yeah. I think I'm just used to this, but it ended up being crappy and it ended up making my eyeshadow like skip a little because it was chunky. Uh, anyways, so we're decluttering this. I use a lot of it. Like I was ha at the point where I had to squeeze it and then like take the doe foot and like, here, I'll just show you. And you can see like it's, it's gross. Um, like it comes out dry, but I have to usually squeeze it to have it come out and then like go tap tap but even looking at it right here that looks gross it's like goopy so it's gonna get tossed <laughs> so that was my declutter and then I emptied 
this one I kept thinking it was going to happen and it kept like I was like oh I have empties in the next one I'll have empties in the next one it was never what I thought I was going to have um the Riojo don't despair repair deep conditioning mask this was the two ounce this actually took me over a year to to use because I don't use it often I and I only do it in the like this half of my hair I never put it up here just down here so um it took me a while to use it and I would only do it like every once a week or every two weeks that's how I do my hair masks um so it took me a long time and I do like this a lot but you'll see I'm going to be using a different Briogeo um hair mask soon keep your your eyes peeled for the 50 shades I'm joining in for the first time I'm excited so you'll see my conditioner in there or, or my hair mask but this was good I like it I'm a fan of Briogeo more than I am like way I don't find ways um hair mask that I've used any good and I don't really care for their hair oils it just seems very heavy on my hair so it's just not good for my hair but Riorgio has not let me down so far so that's nifty um I also emptied out a drunk elephant proteiny poly polypeptide cream um a face moisturizer it's this guy he is all empty I don't think you'll be able to tell because it's all white but it's empty I really like this but not enough to pay the price for a full full size but if I could get more minis of it like you know for points or whatever I will def definitely be like happy to use it because I thought this was really good I enjoyed and finally this is another one where I start this is my Aveeno I have uh, these bottles in like multiple places in the house because it's my favorite um, it's the nourishes dry skin and it's like soothing oats so it's supposed to be like good for sensitive skin and stuff uh, I opened this one um, I think it was in September of last year so it takes me eight months to use one of these but you have to also remember I'm not just using this one I'm usually using some wherever whatever room I'm in I have one in the living room I have one um, in my room my aunt has one in her room where I'm staying now and then I always have like little hand moisturizers like in my office or in my purse so anyways it takes me a little longer to use these up because I use this on my full body like this is my lotion I love it and it will be re bought over and over and over again but I still have some so I don't but anyways empty totally emptied Let's put it back that way and then I finally finished one of my Morphe continuous setting sprays it is all gone um my other one that I've been using I was using two if you guys watched last year I was like I have two open I don't know why I have two I, like, I started using two of them and I didn't know which one was in more empty because you really can't tell with these and so I think the other one's close to being done too so don't be surprised if you see it in the next month or in, in two months so I love this stuff I know people hate Morphe I know they're, they're going bankrupt right but I'm hoping that doesn't mean they're gonna go out of business y'all might hate Morphe but I love their setting spray and I'll be very sad if it's ends up being a, a product I'll no longer be able to get I do have some more in my collection though that I bought like whenever they went on sale I would always buy them okay so those were all my empties which I think is pretty good man you know when I wasn't paying attention to how much I would empty out I, I always felt like oh I just never finish anything but I do I finish things I finish things slowly and I don't finish makeup very quickly I have yet to finish any makeup right it's only been like skin care and body care I think that's it so I'll take it I know I don't wear enough makeup to empty up my makeup other than like I, I uh, mascara or setting sprays <laughs> okay so this is the time where if you do not want to see my haul uh, we'll say goodbye here and thank you for giving me a little bit of your time and I hope you'll come back in the next video and giving you some time to leave and if you want to stay 
we have a haul. It's not as big as the last two, so it shouldn't take as long. All right, so let's see, where should I start? I'm gonna go off my list. I wasn't sure if I should show you my April Sydney Grace bundle, but I did pay for it in March because they, they put it on sale March 27th, and it ended up showing up already. So is this it? Let me make sure it's the right one. This is April's. Yep. All right, so in the April bundle, I'm not going to swatch anything, so I'm going to put a picture of the bundle, but I will show you what I got. The cute sticker. I love that they give you a sticker with each bundle. I just love stickers. A little cupcake with flowers. I'll put that back in there. And then we got a cream. Was this a lipstick or a cream shadow? I hate they never tell you. Let me see. I got the receipt. I think it's a cream shadow. Oh, it doesn't even say. Well, I'll know when I open the box. Okay, it's a cream shadow. And ooh. Looks like it's a duo or multi-chrome because it's just shifting in shade. You can see right here. I don't know if it will show you. Well, let me swatch. Let me swatch. I said I wasn't going to swatch, but I'll sw swatch this one. Yep. It's a, I think a duo chrome. Trying to see if whichever way I flip it that will help you see. I'm hoping you can see it. It's like a... It's like a, I don't know, it's a green with gold shimmers in it. So it makes it look like it's changing from a dark, I would say like a blue green to a lighter green because of the shimmers maybe from back here you can see it you can't tell on my finger it's already dried down but anyways um that will be fun to play with and then i got this shade and this shade and this shade and then another green. I, I, you know, I couldn't pass up this bundle because it had all these greens in it. I'm like, I love my greens. I'm excited. And I made sure that none of them were already in my collection because I've made that mistake before. Um, we need to pause. <laughs> Anyways, that was the April Sydney Grace bundle. So if you guys are interested in it, it's still available. Go get it. Um, I love the, I'm like, I'm wearing one of my Sydney Grace shadows as a crease shade, and then I have Menagerie on the lid, but um, they have such soft, beautiful formulas. They have beautiful colors, and I, I feel like if you want to start getting Sydney Graces, doing the bundle is like, their monthly bundles is the best way to start your collection, because you get um, four, it used to be five magnetic sing singles but now it's like four and then you get a cream eyeshadow or you'll get a lipstick or something but um if you like the shades they do then get them i i skipped the last two no i skipped yeah february's i skipped and then i had january's did i skip march yeah yeah so god i'm all over the place y'all if i'm annoying you i'm sorry <laughs> um we we got the January and the April, and then I skipped the two months, so. All right, I'm going to get a makeup wipe because I don't want to get this everywhere, and I'm going to be touching more makeup, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys. I hope it's on the back bottom, too. I've got Easter Bunny socks on. Aren't they cute? I hope you can see. Or there's probably hair on the bottom of my foot, but. Little Easter bunnies with pink and purple. I know I'm weird. Oh, and I'm wearing my Winnie the Pooh spring earrings. I'll link um, the person I get these from. I, she probably still has them. I got these like a year or two ago, but she she keeps her her hits 
her biggest hits um, going over and over again. But if you like Disney, she's the girl to go to for all your unique um, earrings. And she, she does sales all the time. Her name is Femme de Bloom, but I'll put her link in the, in the description if I remember. All right, so we got Sydney Grace. Now, oh, Fantas Fantasmic. Fantasy Cosmetica came out with the Rogue palette, and as much as I liked it, I was really more interested in their multi-chromes from that palette, and when I saw that they were just doing the, you could buy the stuff, buy their eyeshadows as singles if you didn't want the whole palette, and I felt that the palette, I know DW gave me crap for this, she's like, but the... <laughs> I didn't want to buy the whole palette because it was just really dark shades and I'm not one for dark shades. And she goes, but the whole palette's a dark shade, even the multi-chromes. I'm like, fair. <laughs> but I was like, no, I just wanted the multi-chromes. I just want to dip my toes in the multi-chromes. And this is the first purchase I've ever um, did with the Fan Fantasy Cosmetica. I really want the Druid. I want that palette. But I'm waiting for a sale. I think I'm going to have to wait till Black Friday. So, where did I put those? Fantasy Cosmetica. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> oh, here they are. I put them in a color pop, but I put their little label on there. So, I'm not going to swatch because I know I'll get glitter everywhere, but these are their multi chromes. Of course, you probably can't tell in the pan. I can tell, but these are the pretty colors. Let's see if I, I don't know if you're seeing anything, but I'm excited to give them a go. So those are done. I also got the, my last copacetic uh, mystery box. Which was a lot of greens. So I got the lip in greenhouse and the nail in bird bath. So here's the lip. Isn't that cool? I'm excited to use it. I did put it on my hand to see if it's really that green, but it's not. It's really a clear with like green sparkle, a uh, gr green, blah, 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 blah. green glitters. That was probably the worst place to put that. Like, it's right here. But it's basically a clear with green sparkles in it. I thought that'd be fun over, like, a lip liner or something. Um, I also got a lip mask in matcha. So this is a lip mask. This little cute little thing. It's in matcha. Sorry. Matcha, but haven't opened it so I don't know how it smells or anything um I also got this cute see last time I was a little upset with the highlighter they brought they sent because it was loose and it ended up all over the whole box like it was a loose powder in a container but the container opened and it was all over the place but look at how cute this is. it's like a paw and this is a fun shade. I don't know if I'd use it as a highlight. Oh, man. I already ruined one full nail because of trying to open packaging. Um, but look how fun that is. And then I've already swatched it, so I kind of ruined it. But I mean, I could probably get away with wearing this. I would have to do a very light um application with a very fluffy brush but I think it'd be prettier as a um why is my words not coming to me eyeshadow it looks very pinky but I think if I like swirl in one area where the green is it'll probably come more greeny and then some of it's got the you can see like the pink glitters from where I sw uh, s swirled my finger I just love the the what do you call it? The packaging, the little paw print. Oh, and this is in Field of Flowers. I 
with one swoop, they, wait, it's in cursive and in small lettering. Oh, with one swoop, they glide on super smooth and last all day. The paw, paw fixed I can't say it. It's with paw in it. I think it's supposed to be perfected um, finishing, but it's paw. And then it's called a perfect glow highlighter. <laughs> I'm a sucker for anything animal thing themed. Anyways, let me get those off so I don't get it everywhere. Um, okay, and then there's the nail polish. I didn't really want to go for this one, but I didn't like any of the other ones. But this is the shade. I think you can see all the glitters, and there's some chunky glitters in there too. I used the last month's um, nail polish, and if you w see my uh, Panicure update, the last one, you'll you'll get my thoughts on how I feel about that one. I mean, I like it, but there were some complications, and I have a feeling this one will be too, but I'll give it a go. It looks fun. And then lastly, they had the quad, and I did... Um, if I have a picture, because I sent, I sent it to Erica. Um, I'm not gonna open this because you know my last one was a catastrophe, so I'm just gonna keep it closed and try not to let it glare. But those are the four shades, so springy, very Easter, and they look like fun. Again, they don't look like they would be, but they are actually more of a topper. Like they don't come off this opaque. Um, but they'll still be fun to play with. And I told uh, Erica, and I think I told Shelly too, I'm like, if they end up not being something I enjoy after I try it once, they'll be the ones that get it. Like, I'll separate them for, for, the, for the girls. Um, so that was everything for Copacetic Mystery Box for March. And I'm sorry I keep saying um. I've realized that as I'm editing and I'm like, wow, that is very annoying. How does one get that out of their brain? You know, my other word used to be like. I would say like every other word and it drove my mother nuts. I use it a lot still, but not as bad as I used to. What was this? Oh, this was my other Sydney Grace, right? Did I bring those over? Oh, this is my January bundle. Where, where did that come from? <laughs> okay, next on the list was I did my first polish pickup, and wow, did I spend money. I got six polishes, and most of them are like $13 to $14, but they are nothing like what I have in my collection. Um, I have not put any of these on my nails yet, but I do plan to. So I got um, Ethereal, Ether Ethereal. That's the brand, and it's in Coffee Cloud. That's it. I'll try not to. It's a shifty one. I had to get shifties. I love that. Very pretty. And then I. Apparently, my camera got tired. Uh, it turned itself off in mid sentence, so sorry about that. Um, and I'm sorry if this is not the same zoomed in zoomed out or whatever but we'll just we'll just move on right the next polish was from kathleen company from new orleans and the color i guess i might have to open the box to find out such a cool box though like okay here and then i see the the moon and looks like the moon is in her hand that's so cool I'm a sucker for packaging, guys. <laughs> okay, yeah. And it is in After Storm. And you're probably going, Amy, isn't that what you just showed us? No. <laughs> Not only am I trying to find all the shifty and totally different um, nail polishes that, you know, don't are not in my collection already, but I'm also trying to try new... Um, 
Yeah, this one's got a blue base and this one's got a purple base. Yeah, I'm trying to trying out new I by the way, heads up, I already did my this month's polish pickup and I bought seven instead of six. I'm gonna totally skip next month though because I can't be spending this kind of money on nail polishes. And I have a lot of nail polishes. But it's so hard because they're like brands I've never heard of. They're really cool um, colors and finishes and stuff. So it's hard. But I'm going to skip next month. Well, you know, I already bought April. Yeah, so I'm going to skip May's. So this is, um, oh, this is a Cleona Cosmetics Nail Lacquer. And, okay, here's the box. Look at the prettiness. Okay, ooh. And then it is in rain, rain bows, but it's rain dash bows. So that's cute. There you go. How fun is this? And it looks like a lot of sparklies. I'm excited to try all of these. So keep your keep checking in on my pan, uh, panicure because that's where you're gonna see these in action and get my thoughts. What else? Okay, we did that. All right, I bought five singles from Menagerie. I heard that they're getting rid of their singles. Heard I read it on their in, their Instagram, and they were doing. Was it a sale? I can't remember now. I know I got the the palette full price, and where is the palette over here? Um, but let me see. Let me see the. But oh, they don't put the, the pricing on here. Either way, I bought a bunch of singles, and then I bought a palette to like a empty palette to put them in. And then I finally bought my Menagerie Killer Perk. I've been wanting this. I wanted this before she reformulated this one. But, I mean, come on, you guys. Look at the big kitties. And, oh, I did not see that before. I'm going to have to press that in. I wonder if it happens. Oh, it, it happened after it was here. This guy is broke, so I'm not going to tilt it too much, but there's your color story of it. I'm so sad. I'll, I'll dry press it. It will be okay. Now I'm like, which way does this go on here? Nope. Yep. I don't know. So I finally own the Killer Purr from Menagerie and I'm thrilled. And yes, I paid full price, but I am scared that it's gonna go away and I will never get, get my hands on it again. Then I bought this cute Fox empty palette from them. Look how thick this sucker is. This is like the sturdiest um, single palette I've ever bought. And then I bought these singles. Was it all these? I bought six. So there's more than just the six. And now I'm not going to remember which ones. But I had a couple of other singles from Menagerie. And then I added them with the six I bought. So this is all the Menageries I own. Plus um, Animal Kingdom, which is in my Pan Those Eyeshadows single palette thingy. So that's not in here, but... This is all the fun shades I got. I can read off the ones I got, but I don't feel like picking them up and looking at them. So I got Cobra Ch Chameleon. I got Animal Kingdom Chameleon, which I'm wearing on my eyes now. Gecko Chameleon. Basically, the chameleons are their shifty. Moonflower Chameleon, Koi Chameleon, and then the Fox Palette. So that's what I, oh, and they sent a Kaitlyn, I love her, the bear, and then I got, uh-oh, where'd it go? Are you under this? Yes, you are, and then I got a sticker of her as well. I haven't gotten a sticker before from them. I know that sometimes they would sell them, but this one I got for free, and I'm so happy about it. 
And I got the little postcard. I will use these in my journaling. Uh, what else? We also did... Oh, Sigma had a sale. They've been having sales off and on a lot. And um, I only let you guys know about the one sale that had the, the Alice in Wonderland actually put on sale. Because that one rarely goes on sale. And a few of you were like, oh, I missed it. I wanted that palette too. So I didn't let you know about the other ones. But I ended up getting the Untamed Sigma palette. And I'm blaming uh, Angela Bright for this because she did a <laughs> she did a um, tutorial with it. I think it was for the members only, or I'm, yeah, I think it was for members only. And I'm like, I have to have this. So that's the outside. Oh, let's not let's not drop the brush. Okay, and then here I'll do it this way so I can hide the mirror. So there's that. I'm sure you've all seen it. But it has the mustardy, mustard color, the green, purple. I'm like, yes. And I'm getting more used to blues too, especially like for like the lower lash line. I would totally use this on my lower lash line. So I'm excited about that. And... Yeah, I only paid $29 for this, so that was on sale. <laughs> then I did an order for Lethal, and I'm blaming Shelly for it. Unapologetically Shelly. She showed the, um, oh, I don't have it over here because it's part of my five uses. Well, I'll get it in a minute. Um, she was showing her rescue palette from Lethal, and I was like, I have to have it. So I end up buying that plus two singles. Is that what I have in here? Okay, so I, no, these are my two singles. Yeah, and I'm gonna pop them into the, I already have a couple of singles from them. I have these, I bought these last year, like early last year. And I ended up buying two of the shades that were in the other charity. Um, they had like four or five charity quads and you could also just buy the singles. Um, so I bought the, the rescue quad and then I bought Plitvis, Plitvice. I have no idea. And I don't remember. I think this might be from the earth one. I'm not sure. I'm hoping that it's not washed out because from here it looked like it was washed out in there and then I bought this single Ooh, she's getting messy because little miss sassy was playing with them I had everything laid out on my um, footstool thingy in front of this and I came in for yesterday and today where these single shadows and these single shadows were off down the hallway I'm like really <laughs> So here's the other one, and this one is called Caracol? Caracal? Hmm. Why do we have hard names, people? But there's this one. And I don't remember what this one was from either. I wish they would have put on here what palette they belong to, but they don't. So I have two more empty spots in this palette for Lethal Cosmetic. single shadows but they're so expensive so i'll be waiting for a oh and these were on sale as well were the well all of the rescue or not rescue all the charity um compacts were on sale and so were the singles that go into those so i didn't pay full price i'm gonna go find my palette lethal palette and i'll be right back didn't have to go far. It was on my desk with the rest of my makeup for my five uses. So this is the Rescue Palette. I mean, come on, guys. I show, showed you this in my five uses as well, so I won't go over too much of it, but um, here's the shades. Uh, I didn't put them in the way that they put them in. Like, they had the two shimmers, like, diagonal, but I like them on top. 
And if you want the names of each of these, you can either go to Lethal Cosmetics to read the names because I don't want to pop them out and look at them. Or go to Unapologetically's um, Rehab, Makeup Rehab, her last one, and she, I think she even swatches these. So you can see the swatches and hear the names from her. Next is, oh, I found, I heard Shelly talk about these on, I don't think it was the last this last one, but the one prior, her makeup rehab. See, this is the problem with me watching people's makeup rehabs with the hauls. I'm like, ooh, I need that. And I also would, oh yeah, I, I watched Project Beauty, Jen from Project Beauty. Um, I think that's the name of her. Anyways, uh, I don't think it was her recent one because I'm so behind. I'm like a month behind on everybody's videos. But she brought in so many new palettes I haven't seen before. And I'm like writing them down. Like, oh, I want that. So see, I understand those who have to click out. I just don't have the willpower to click out because I want to see all the things. <laughs> but anyways, on Amazon, um, they have had two. I heard there was three or four at one time. But they only had two left. And now I think they only have one left. Because I want to go look again. Um, they had two... Terra Moon singles on there and I don't own anything from Terra Moon so I thought, thought well that would be a great way for me to test them out and they weren't as expensive as they are on their website. Did I write down? No I didn't write down how much they were. Of course you're not going to say the shade but oh here we go. I'm not going to take them out of the package because I don't know where I'm putting these yet. They are this is Radial Velocity. And. I think it's me me Magnet. Maybe Magnet. Osophere. Like Atmosphere. But Magnet. I don't know. Again, why do we have to make the name so complicated? So those are the two shades I got. So if you want to, if you have Prime or something and you want to like get your first taste of some Terra Moon eyeshadows, go check that out, check them out on Amazon. And they are being sold by Ter Terra Moon on Amazon. So I got those two things. Oh, I made a huge order for Pretties For Your Face. That was my first time buying anything from them. And they were having a, a sale on their singles. I have all the names of the singles here because I'm not going to lift them out. I bought how many? I bought 19 singles because they were all $2.50 each. I mean, come on. <laughs> So, and I love their, that they put a little sticker saying, thank you for shopping with us. Yeah, thank you for your order. And the little skulls and stuff. I love that. So, I had this empty palette from Anastasia already. And so, they sent, uh, Pretties for Your Face sent a sticker. So, I put it over the Anastasia part in here. Was there an Anastasia? No, there wasn't. But I, this way I know that's the brand. And then this is all the ones I bought. And a lot of them are shifties, but you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna swatch them, y'all. It would be here forever and there will be glitter particles on me for days. I bought Solstice Light as a Feather, Electrified, Gina, Sweetness, Love's Band, Misty. Deep Woods, Fame, Happy Days, Asteroid, Eliza, Goblin King, Sand Dollar, Toil, Arturu, Arturu. I know I used to be able to say his name from um, The Never Ending Story, but now I can't say his name to save my life. Moonlit Massa Masquerade. I almost said Massacre. Masquerade. Moonlit Magic. And Big Bang. The reason I wanted to try these is because um, Just Steph had a sand dollar in. She had some other ones that she had put into her 
various um, projects as well. And I was like, oh, let me check out, check out that brand because she really liked them. And Sand Dollar was the one that I remember because she had that in, I think it was in Deca Panning maybe? It was in one of the prompt based projects she does. But it was like always so pretty. I'm like, oh, so pretty. It's so pretty. But I didn't want to, you know, I'm like, I'm all about sales. If I'm in a shop, I want to be on a sale. So I, I joined their email list. I joined their Instagram and I missed one of the sales because I didn't check my email right away and all that. And then this one came along and I went for it. So yeah, I bought 19 eyeshadows. <laughs> and after that, we bought, oh, where are they? Why do I not have things when I need them? I bought 14 Looksee singles and I believe I already put them in a palette. Yeah, sassy, I did. I don't know if you guys heard her, she's like, Brr. Yes, I'm talking back. Are you going to come over and say hi to everybody? Oh, she might. She's coming over. Come on. Get up here. Here, you want me to move this? Come on. There she is, you guys. She came to say hello. Say hello. Are <laughs> oh, you going to give them your butt? They don't want to see your butt. Though that does mean she trusts you and loves you. If you didn't know, if you don't know, to cats showing their butt to you is a good thing, isn't it, baby? Oh, if they could only hear you purring. My little motor. Do you know that people come on just to see you? They don't really care about me. <laughs> yeah, she's a good baby. All right. Um... Sorry, I'm not going to show you my look-see singles because I don't want to have to go search for them. And I wouldn't swatch them anyways. But I bought 14 and I already had a, quite a bit of a, I think I had like 10 prior. So they got put in with that empty palette. So I wouldn't even be able to tell you which one was which. Sorry. But just know I bought a whole lot of singles this this uh, month. Um, next was Kaleidos. Finally, we're putting their, was it on sale? I don't remember now. But they were letting us know that their future palettes were, once they're sold, they're not coming back. And I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to buy that, but I just haven't yet. And never have had anything from them. What are you looking at? You looking at your shadow? Oh, well, you're now looking at me. Um, so I'm like, screw it, I'm gonna buy them because I don't wanna miss out. So I love the way they package, that's why I left them in the box. So first, here's the purple box. You open it and then they have this, keeping it safe. And then they put it in bubble wrap as well. And this box was in a big bubble, bubble wrap envelope. I'm like, they are making sure your shit does not break. And I appreciate that. Don't you? Don't you? So I bought, the Futurism Sashimi, Sashimi City. That's the packaging. I'm sure you've all seen these because they've been out for quite a while. But it's new to me, so I'm excited. So here's what this looks like. And you open it like that, and then like that. Perfect, perfect shades for me. And the reason I found out about this brand is because of Laura, F is it Laura? Yeah, Laura Force and Haley. They're, they're besties, but the mostly from Laura because she had these coming in a lot in her pan, those eyeshadows last year, or no pan left behind, one of those. I also got the Lunar Lavender, of course, cause you know, I love purple. I'm trying not to ruin this packaging because I'm keeping this packaging. You better believe it. So that's what this looks like. And then we'll open it. Get the thingy off. So there is that one. I'm very excited. I can't wait to play. 
So it's going into my pile of other ones I can't wait to pay, play play with. So we'll see. But this purple one would be perfect for spring. Then I did an ult the Ulta sale. The only time I bought from the 21 Days of Beauty was for when Nabla did, they had now they had Nabla on sale. Their their um, eyeshadow palettes. I only have Dreamy from them. And I've been wanting these other two, so I was happy to buy them on sale. Uh, the Secret Palette. I just love the packaging. Yes, it's still in the box. Yes, I will keep putting it back in the box. I am, if it's pretty packaging, I keep it. But I love this. It's like textured and everything. And then, don't fall please. Thank you. Do it this way, and that's what this looks like. I'm very excited to play with this one. So pretty. I've like almost bought this so many times. I even almost bought it off of Macari, but I kept holding out. And then the other one I bought from Nabla was the Read My Mind. We're so happy you're staying with us, sweet girl. Yes, we are. I'll try not to block you. So that's what this looks like. And I believe it was, it's just stuff that made me want this palette so bad. Because this got used in her, one of her projects as well last year. But I love that they're in like little quads so I could just like not think about it. I mean, you're, you're more than welcome to like go all around, but I love that they're like perfectly in a, in a quad that I could just put all four of those shades onto my lid without thinking. And then lastly, wasn't this on this, or was this April? I didn't write it down. I'm just gonna say this was this month's because it's not written down. The Ulta is the last thing I wrote down, but uh, I've went to the brand, not brand new, for those who don't know, I've only lived in on this side of town for six months and I knew there was a TJ Maxx, but we just never got around to it. So we finally, the whole family went out to eat and then we decided to go over to TJ so I could check it out because I know I love me some TJs. And that TJ's is a disaster. They only had one wall, like, you know, like the displays they have, they only had one wall, nothing else for makeup. And a lot of it was just like a mess. Um, I did get two things for Erica, and then I only got one thing for myself. So I ended up finding the Revolution Looney Tunes collab. I got the Sylvester. I love Sylvester. Sylvester. You know how he speaks. <laughs> I want the Bugs Bunny one, and I I can't. I haven't found it. I didn't want to pay full price for these. I know that they're. I don't think Bugs is there anymore. They're on the website, but I don't want to pay full price. But I grew up watching Looney Tunes, so look at this. Look at this cutie patootie. He says "tufferin thucker stash, thucker stash." You know his little saying. Tufferin thucker stash. But don't mind the the mirror. But look at the cute little kitty. Look at him. Up to no good. I just put my finger in a, in a uh, eyeshadow. So these are the shades. I am going to definitely be wearing these during the summer. Like this side is summer and this side's fall. So I'm like, I get to use it for two seasons. So I'm excited. Oh, and he's on the back too. <laughs> We're going to be... Oh, is that Tweety Bird above his head? Yeah, it's, you know how, like, you, he's got... It's circulating. It's Tweety, so... I thought I saw a putty cat. I did, I did, I did! <laughs> I'm a fan. So that is everything. I did buy books, but I'm not putting myself on a low buy for my books. I, like, I, I only buy those on sale or through the book of the month. And I'm okay with you know getting more once my bookshelves are full then I might be like all right I need to declutter or stop buying <laughs> so I'm not worried about that stuff did I buy anything else besides this makeup I don't think I did 
and that was it. And really, I'm only on a low buy for makeup. I'm like, I've already like nipped the buying clothes in the bud. Um, and then, like I said, with my books, I haven't been buying movies. So yeah, just the makeup is what I need to keep my eye on. And it's not about money. Like I said before in the last video, it wasn't about money anymore. It's, it's about too much in my collection and I need to start using it. And I am using more. Not this month, of course, but the last two months I was doing really good wearing makeup. So, and I am having so much fun. Like yesterday when I was putting together my Easter look, I had so much fun. Um, I'm going to be posting that eyeshadow look on my Instagram today. Uh, I don't know when this is coming up. On Easter, I'm po posting that picture. So if you guys want to see it, be sure to go look over there. It will probably be in my, my eyeshadow update too. It'll be in one of my updates because I use multiple palettes on that one. So I don't know which one I'm going to add it to. But anyways, enough of my talking. So what do you think? Did I do do good this, this month? Or do you think I'm still going way overboard and need to work a little harder? I, like I said, I'm going to try to go 10 days in the month of April of no shopping. Straight 10 days. So, um... Wish me luck on that because eight days was hard, but I did it. So let's see if I can add two more days to it and see if I manage to succeed. Um, I did want to buy something. I was just itching to buy eyeshadow and I was like telling Erica, I'm like, we, we Marco Polo off and on all day, every day. <laughs> so I was telling her, I'm like, man, all I want to do right now is shop. I don't know why, but I just want to shop. And then I'm like, maybe I should just play with some eyeshadow and see if that curves my my need to shop. I was working at the time, so I couldn't be like, stop and go play with eyeshadows. And she was like, yes, you need, before you buy anything, go and play with your eyeshadows. Maybe that will make you happy. So um, after work, I decided to pull out my Sigma Cinderella palette because me and Shelly, also we Marco Polo, um, we're talking and I was like, oh, I just bought another Sigma palette. And then she's like, I don't really care for the Sigma formula, at least not their, their, you know, shimmery shades. She just, she likes their mattes a lot, but not the other shades. And then I was like, crap, I have a lot of Sigma palettes that I've bought in the last year that I've never actually played with yet. So I'm sitting there thinking, oh my God, what if the formula is absolutely horrid and I have all these palettes and I should have you know, played with my first one that I bought and then bought more after that if I liked it. Well, I end up using every shade in the, the palette except for two. So I did one full look. Oh, How rude. My camera does not like these low buys because I talk too much. Um, so I was saying I did a full look with the Cinderella palette. And then I w wiped off, the, I didn't do my face at all. I was just playing with eyeshadow. So I wiped off everything off my eyes. And then I did another different, all different shades on this eye. And then all different shades on that eye. And I loved everything I used. So woohoo, love it. Now I don't know if um, Shelly was using a glitter primer when she used those shades. But I was using a glitter primer for, for all of it whenever I was tapping on one of the shimmer or glitters or whatever. And they came out beautifully. There was one that had a lot of fallout. That blue one with all the like purplishy glitters in it. That one had a lot of fallout. But those kind always do. I just have to remember to do the eyes first and then the face when I use those kind of shadows. So I am happy to report I love love like the Sigma formula and I am going to keep playing with all my new eyeshadows and all that. And as you can see, it didn't work that well with all the shopping I did, but all of this was bought before I had that, <laughs> that urge that was near the end of the month. Um, I have, like I said, I have bought things um, in the first week of April. So Come back and see what I got. I did good deals. Oh, I went to TJ's yesterday and that's where I really went crazy. But I haven't been in TJ's in months. And the, the one I, I went to my old TJ's. We went to Marshall's and it was, it was a mess. There was like broken stuff and everything. 
and I was like, ugh. I did find two palettes there, um, but other than that, I was like, this is crap. And then we went over to Joanne Fabrics for my mom because she's back into making her stuff. She's knitting again. So um, we went over there to get her a few things that she needed for what she's working on. Because my, my nephew is going to be a daddy. So got to get those baby blankets out. Uh, also, we then went to TJ's because I was like so disappointed in Marshall's. And um, that... It had so much. So I bought a lot of things. I feel bad because there were two things I could have got for Erica, but I thought she already had them. And what Shelly likes, they, they, they had the things that she already showed me that she was she asked if I wanted. So I love this community because we look out for each other when we go to these stores. Like, did you want this? Do you want that? Um, so that I love that about this community. We're all like, even though like most of us are on low buys, we're not helping that way, <laughs> but we always have support in every way possible. I love it. So thank you for sticking with me tonight or today. I feel like it's night, but it's only like noon. Thank you for sticking with me with this. This is always a long video and I'm very chatty. So once again, thank you for sticking around to the end and give me a kitty cat emoji if you stayed all the way to the end for our little sass. Yes, give you a little shout out. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Give me some comments, suggestions. Uh, there was something I was going to ask you guys, and now I can't remember. I should have wrote it down. Well, if you think there's other ways that I could push myself to not buy, let me know. I am pulling things, my new stuff, into my Project 5 uses. And that's been fun. Like, I haven't been itching to buy blushes, and I love blush. And I haven't been wanting to buy, like, other face products. It's just eyeshadows. I could not say no to eyeshadows. <sighs> so, any suggestions, throw them at me. And I always can use your support because this is rough. It is so hard not to buy makeup for me and I know I don't need it. Oh, my mom was with me when we went shopping at TJ's and she was very supportive. She was opening boxes to look at the eyeshadows with me to make sure nothing was broken and then putting them in the cart. And then we get in the car, she goes, I don't know why you needed all that. You have so much makeup as it is. <laughs> like, thanks mom. At least you held out to the car. <laughs> Cause when we moved, that's all she would say. Like, who needs this much makeup? But she goes, hey, if you still have room to add more, that's fine, but when you no longer have room, you better stop buying, buying makeup. I'm like, okay, that's fair. <laughs> I still have room. I still have, I, I, I rearranged my drawers when I moved here to have more room. <laughs> but that's not what we're trying to do, right? Ugh. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. I really am. You might think I'm like, just like, well, eh, who cares? But no, I am trying to not buy so much. And this is a lot less than what I usually do. So I am very proud of myself for the, mo the month of May. May, the month of March, and I hope you guys are proud of me too. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up now. You guys are probably like, seriously, Amy, shut up. You've already said that you're gonna you're gonna go, and you're still talking. All right, thank you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Say bye, Sassy. Bye, Sassy. Did you hear that? But meow. <laughs> that was her bye. Yeah, you gonna say meow? Are you losing your voice? Well, she's purring. All right.